we're going to try this again. Um, and I, I, it just told me now that the stream failed about five seconds into it. So, um, let's try this again. Let's, let's go full screen on the video and see if I can make this work. So I just got out of this WebEx that covers the new CCIE lab environment. And, uh, let me tell you right now that my expectations have been changed. I went into it expecting one thing and it was something totally different. So let's make sure that I'm just looking at the chat making sure if you can hear me good, let me know if you can hear me. Uh, I'm going to keep looking at the screen here and making sure my stream is going on. It looks like it's going on. Okay. Let me start by saying thank you so incredibly much for the outpouring of support that has come in the past couple days. I am so motivated and inspired, especially by y'all for reaching out to me and wishing me luck and letting me know I can do this. Um, I'm ready. I I've got the bandwidth. I've got the motivation. I'm dialed in. As soon as quarantine is over, I'm going to dedicate a huge amount of studying every day to it. And uh, yeah, so here we go. I took notes in this webinar, this WebEx, about the environment. And uh, let me tell you up front that this, this really does um, change change things. Uh, the, the lab environment itself is not quite what I was expecting. Um, it's very much a computer lab, just like when you go into your local testing center, uh, just a row of computers with little dividers in between. They did tell us that there are two 24-inch monitors. The operating system is Linux. On the desktop to the machine, I've got my, I'm reading my notes. Uh, on the desktop, there is a shortcut to Cisco documentation that you can browse documentation. As long as you don't require a login, um, yeah, you can uh, use Cisco documentation on your machine. So, um, yeah, this is, this is really cool stuff. I think I, I, I'm really, really impressed with how this WebEx went. Uh, and let me show you some of the crazier parts to it. I'm going to switch to my desktop here. You should be seeing my desktop. Um, let's do this. Let's bring up over here. I'm going to jump back to the, okay, look at this. Look at this. This is crazy right here. The first part of the CCIE Enterprise exam, module one, is design. The second part is deploy, operate, and optimize. So let's start by talking about design. What's so special about design? Design is not a lab portion exam. Not really. This is a, a written exam. If you scroll down right here, they tell you the types of questions. Drag and drop, multiple choice, multiple choice, multiple answer, drop downs. Uh, they did show like this little matrix question thing that I thought was pretty cool, um, where you had to like select the right boxes in a matrix. Um, there was in the drag and drop, there was make sure they're sorted in the right order, which I thought was interesting too. Um, beyond that, you have the exam content. This is the exam questions themselves and they are guided. So there's, you're like on one of 16 or whatever, and you have to click next to go to the next question and so on. You can't see all of the questions up front. Then there is a resources section that also comes, it's like a different window pane, and you'll have maybe docs, topology pictures, email chains, and instant messages. I thought that was really cool. And as you progress through the questions, the resources change. So being that this is the shortest section, three hours, my strategy now is thinking like, okay, uh, you need to get to know your resources for each question because that's going to change from one question to the next. I thought that was pretty interesting. Once you get done with design, then you move on to the five hour section of deploy, operate, and optimize, which is where you're actually getting on command lines and terminals. There's still exam content, which I thought was neat. Um, and there's also the resources, but here's the thing. Now, when you get to exam content, it's showing you all the questions. Here's from start to finish what we're expecting you to do. And all the resources are also static. Beyond that, the resources are broken down by like site. So they'll have an HQ section, which will have R1 and R2. You can click on R1 and R2 and it will bring their consoles up as tabs across the screen. So you can see the consoles there and interact with the console. Beyond that, there will also be servers here. They showed servers, which had um, VNC or RDP connections. They did only demo Linux servers. That doesn't mean there won't be windows on the exam, um, but that was particularly interesting. They also showed like Python scripts, um, which I thought was pretty neat too. Um, they didn't show like actual exam questions, obviously. It was like print hello world Python scripts, um, but there it is. 
Uh, someone did ask if you could see your exam score or progress that way. The answer was no. Um, you couldn't see if you passed design before you went on uh, to deploy, um, operate, optimize. Um, they, they said, like, you will get a score report at the end, not unlike the previous exams. They want human eyes to view your score and your stuff uh, to make sure you were on target there, which I thought was pretty neat. Another website that I found that I thought was pretty interesting is they actually show the actual uh, images and versions that are used here. Um, so 15.8 on routers, 15.2 on switches, 18.4 on SD-WAN. I think SD-WAN is up to like the 20s now um, and DNA Center. Now, they didn't talk about the exam content itself. That's what next week's webinar is, and I'll be attending that too and sharing my thoughts on that as well. I am very excited for to hear their thoughts on the exam content, the outline, the breakdown, and their steps to study how to prep for this. Um, that's something that's very much on my mind, especially DNA Center. Uh, getting your hands on an instance of DNA Center to practice with is very hard. Um, the DevNet sandbox is like reserved weeks in advance. And then there's dCloud. I could check out dCloud some more, I guess. Um, let's see. For me, the rest of the week, I am continuing to prep for uh, recording. Uh, I'm recording some NRC content. Really excited about that. Um, going to start really hitting that hard tomorrow and Friday morning. And uh, yeah, so I am reading through some NRC stuff, doing some labs, practicing, and making sure that that is uh, ship shape for recording tomorrow. So yep. Uh, sorry about that first stream. I want to check and just make sure. Yep. Looks like the stream is still active. That's exciting. I don't know what happened there where it just bombed out after six seconds. I didn't click stop, but here we are. Um, so yeah, um, this was a really exciting WebEx. I really appreciated Cisco's time. It is They did record it. It's available for watching. I highly encourage y'all uh, to jump over to the Cisco CCIE series of WebExes. Um, they're going to be covering the uh, outlines for... Oh, and the stuff they covered here was the same for every CCIE environment. When it comes to the blueprints and how to prep, they've got a WebEx for each one of those. Enterprise infrastructure is what they're covering next week on the 27th. So, um, yeah, I don't know what I was expecting. I guess I was expecting to be in like a room by myself, maybe have physical equipment to work with or something. Uh, but, yep, it's it's a lab environment. Doesn't dissuade me at all. Doesn't change my opinion. Um, does it change how I prep? Maybe a little bit. Maybe I'm going to focus a little bit more on some Linux skills, make sure I'm fast. Um, yeah. Outside of that, I, I think I think I'm going to be okay here. Um, yeah, it's going to be good. I'm I'm ready for this. I'm ready to hit the hit the ground running. Can't thank you all again for the support and the outreach that I've had this week. I, it was it's incredible. Um, it's the support you need to go for something like this. Uh, so that's it. I'm going to end the stream now, unless y'all have some questions. Let me check the chat and make sure there's no questions here. Um, nope, I don't see any questions, so I think we're good to go. Thank you all for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one. In stream.